Dear students, today we will discuss that what are the methods of process communication. So there are inter-process communications, different processes on network or even on the same computer sharing a time sharing fashion need to communicate between each and other. So how processes are communicating with each other over the network especially is very important to understand. Here is one of the method known as client server model in which one of the computer is acting as a server and others are clients. For example, these fours are clients to this server and client is making request and server is satisfying the request. This is one of the popular strategy being used in networks environment even from 1970s when we had different terminals and a dedicated computer in the center as a focal point. So now what are the examples for using client server model? One of the example is print server. So you might have seen that in a network there is a printer that is attached to a central point and all of the or majority of the machines are connected to that server, uh, print server. And those devices are requesting that we need to print this document and print server acting as a server in the client server architecture is satisfying those requests of users. Another example is to reduce the cost of magnetic disk and to reduce the cost of duplicate file storage, a dedicated central file server is used. So you might have seen or you will see different settings where a central file server is maintained and all of the computers are connecting to this main central server which is hosting all of the files of all of the computers without duplication normally and those computers are storing all of the files to this particular main file server and then those files are accessible to the other servers and you might have also used such kind of file servers for example when you connect to a song repository a video repository where all of the videos or song tracks are available in a server and the clients whether they are residing it at any particular geographical location those are connected to that particular central hub central point or the server in our client server architecture and downloading those soundtracks from that server and then there is another method which is not the client server that is called peer to peer in which basically uh, it involves processes that provide services to and receive services from each other in a peer to peer fashion for example one computer is here another computer is here so both are communicating with each and other and providing and requesting services from each another examples include instant messages so for example if there are two machines like the smartphone you have a smartphone and i have a smartphone and we are coordinating and sending text messages instant messages to each other so that is a type of peer-to-peer -peer network then there could be competitive interactive games so different computers are coordinating the interactive games as well in the network into in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion and distributing files like music recordings to each other motion pictures to each other and the collection of peers in such a distribution is sometimes called swarm and why we need peer-to-peer -peer? one of the very important thing is that decentralized operation give more efficiency and reliability so for example in client server architecture if the server has some problem is crashed is not reliable do not remain reliable in such a situation all of the clients will face problems 
However, in peer-to-peer -peer architecture, if one machine gets down, it has no impact on other machines in the network of the swarm. So all other machines are still able to communicate with each other. So the efficiency and the reliability is increased. So that is one of the important thing that why peer-to-peer -peer architectures are getting more popular nowadays. So if we summarize today's module, we have learned that how processes residing on same machine or over the network are communicating and we have discussed two architectures. One is client-server architecture and other is peer-to-peer -peer architecture.